Hey, what's up? It's Chanel, and welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlog. Today is a special episode as we're going to be going over the sophomore full length from Denver, Colorado's The Spectral Voice. Sporagamos, Dark Descent Records, Hails to Manifester, Insane, that the cover is a sculpture, yeah, and the cassette version of this album is absolutely one of the heaviest Sounding cassettes I own. Like, I don't know what author risk, like, was feeding the boys when they were recording this, but, like, when it comes to author, again, he's not called the eternal champion for no reason. The dude is the best. It, like, in my opinion, definitely one of the best when it comes to modern recording, production, everything. And with Spectral Voice, having Manifester as kind of like a fifth member from his art, and like the fact that they made something that is a lot harder to imitate than eroded corridors of unbeing which no offense to anyone but how many awesome bands like have shirts with the and i love his artwork but the festering phlegm artwork like it's just one of those things i, I don't know like i i completely was like stoked when I found out what this really was, because this is a photograph. I guess it's taken with like a picture camera using like vintage film. Like, it's so just insane how much detail and love went in to Sporagamos. And my poster's not... Wait, where the hell's my poster? Wait a minute, I forgot. Hold on, my poster. In the poster pile for the February prize package. I'm sorry, hold on. I know I have the flag behind me, but... The flag is the Accursed Wounds flag. I just brought it up from the... from the studio up here. I'm sorry. Come on. I, 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 it has to be in one of these. I'm sorry. Somebody's getting hooked up with posters this month, though. I'll tell you that. So if you're a Patreon, like, yeah. All right. No, this is the Beharit Flyer. Damn it. Where is it? All right. This has to be it. This is the only other glossy cover. I meant poster. Yeah, here it is. All right, now, Eli, Eli, who does drums and vocals, he's also in Black Curse. He helped Manifestor, from what I read, with the sculpture. And this sculpture was as big as a car. Like... The fact that I saw people hating on this made me legitimately realize how many posers there are in the scene right now that just have no idea what the fuck they're talking about when it comes to anything, like, whatsoever. Like, I, I was at that, like, I had such a good time, too, at, uh... Necrot a couple nights ago. 
but like half that crowd had no goddamn clue who Necron were. And I kind of was glad because they won that crowd over. Like a hundred percent they slayed. And if you weren't a fan already, you probably went to their merch table afterwards and became a fan. And yeah, I know. It's sick. <laughs> Thank you, Chrissy. My sister rules. Seriously. I know Chrissy's not going to watch this. That was such an awesome birthday present. Like, seriously. I was like, yo. And yes, it has the artwork. But back to the spectral voice. Now, we all kind of, if you're a nerd like me, you heard Be Cadaver when it was just called Cadaver on YouTube, like in a live video from uh, like Total Death Over Mexico or one of those fests. I, I don't remember which one. And then when Dark Descent dropped two sample tracks, I, I didn't listen to the one. Like, I, re I was like, nah, I can't. Because then I pretty much listened to the whole record. And then I saw that Tim Mellon from Pissgrave as guest vocals on track four, which is Death's Knell Rings in Eternity. Four tracks of some of the best Death Doom metal since Swallow's Lunatarial. And that is such a compliment. Like, when it comes to, like, what I'm doing right now with, like, a Cursed Womb and stuff, like, people want us to do this, like, black with purple font shirt, and I'm, like, totally against it, because to me, they own that. That's, that's a spectral voice color, and I just feel like, I, I don't know. But, like, Be Cadaver, Red Feast Condensed in the One, which is, like, probably the best single you could have possibly picked. Like, after, you know, a couple years of just, like, alright, I know that there has to be a new spectral voice in the all ten. Like, I know. I know it. And, like, Paul, Morris, Jeff, Eli, like, I love Blood Incantation, but, like, I really, really love Spectral Voice. Now, don't get me wrong, like I said, I, I love Blood Incantation, but... Like, there were two occasions where I got to see them pull double duty, and it was amazing. At any time you get to see Spectral Voice, do it. Like, I can't wait to see them with Cthulhuist and Esoteric in New York. Like, we're not, we're not even bothered. I mean, I, I'm going to try and see them as much as possible on the upcoming tour, but, like, we already have tickets, and it's like, a cursed womb, pretty Pat and I. We are also proud to announce Will as our drummer. Promo is coming, full length is coming, so, yep. Yeah. And new Frog Mist promo is also coming, but today's video is not about me. It's about Spectral Voice, and I'm already ten minutes in. Now, this is one of their darkest, just absolutely, like, just fucking yes. What else is there to really say? Now, if I was disappointed, I would, honor, I would let you know. 
I would seriously let you know because I would be visibly, no pun intended, gutted. Like, if this did not hit the mark, I would have been legitimately like, damn. But, oh, did it hit the fucking mark, all right? Hit the mark and then some, like, this already, like, this is the album to beat. This is album of the year shit. I think it's so funny, uh, hipster death. Shut the fuck up. You have no idea. Like, just, it hurts my head. And I'm not even going to get into it. But I love, like, I should have brought the cover article up here. But uh, it's in the Patreon January prize package, which a Swedish viewer won. I, I'm trying to trying to get it out to you, to you man. It, it's a lot of money. But today's video is brought to you by the Patreon. I kind of got a heads up and knew to put some money aside. So after, I forget what month it was when they did the pre-orders. I kind of had a heads up. And I kind of hinted at that, like, yo, so, like, there's something coming. Like, don't spend all your money. And, uh, yep, I'm very glad I followed the advice I was given. Because this is legitimately, in my opinion, definitely the best spectral voice recording. Like, don't get me, I, I love Erotic Corridors. I love Necrotic Doom. I love Necrotic Demos. Hell, I even love the live tape. But, like, this, like, again, this is on another, like, plateau of heaviness. Atmosphere. Just darkness. And like reading that they had like, you know, like the incense burning like dead carcasses to like totally immerse themselves in death. I just I love lore like that. And the lore behind Spectral Voice is so goddamn cool. And I, I've heard certain things and, you know, I like the fact that I have a fact checker. Because it's not true unless you heard it from certain people's lips, you know, like. Like, legitimately, there's so many weird rumors and just nonsense out there just about metal in general. Like, who the fuck cares half the time? But when it comes to, like, hey, there's, like, this release I know you've been looking forward to. And uh, just, just don't spend all your money. So, like, getting that heads up was, like, the sickest thing ever. Thank you. If you're watching, thank you. But thank you to the Patreon for just kind of like trust me. Like the fact that y'all trust they trusted me. That's one of the reasons we have Sparagmos Sparagmos on the cassette deck right now. I wasn't going to put the LP on, but, like, seriously, this is so good on tape. I just, it, it, it's, yeah, like, I can hear it down my basement, like, very audible. It's, like, honestly, probably, like, the loudest tape I have. It sounds in, like, 
I have it very low right now. But, like, it's seriously... I know my microphone sucks, though, so this does not give justice. voice I had to do this in the dark. I should have brought like some smoke up here, but sorry. You know, oh, rip a kaloo, rip. Like, no. Spectral voice, rip. But everything about this record, like, wow. Again, everything. Cosmetics, artwork, promo photos. Lyrics. Having Tim Mellon on guest vocals from Pissgrave. Yeah. Like, but just legitimately one of the darkest, heaviest, most evil sounding 
Def Doom records, maybe ever. Like, seriously. But, I am kind of biased. But, still, it's a fucking spectral voice. Like, I don't know. To me, especially if you're watching this channel, you, you probably love spectral voice. As you should. But, Everything about this record is just amazing. And yeah, it just gets better and better and better. Like, B Cadaver, Sinu, uh, Sensor, I think that's how you pronounce that, I'm sorry. But uh, Red Feast Condensed in the One, Death Knell Rings in Eternity, In Agony's Frenzy, The Steady Gaze of Fever, Instability Invoketh Night Genosis Secrete from the Sperative Wounds of Senses by which melt into one flame, demons rejoice in the sacrificial smoke to be expressed by the ultimate expression, ecstasy and terror. The steady gaze of despair yearns for her own invalidation, which I hear the divine laughter of dissolution, apotheosis. I've said that dead wrong, probably. But, you know, it's dead fucking heavy. Spectral voice for Agamos. But, seriously. Yeah, this is the album to beat. In my opinion. And it's not gonna be easy. To one-up this. For any, like, I mean, like, I'm working on a full length right now, and I'm legit, like, I mean, hey, we're still us, but, yeah, like, bow down to the new masters, but you already knew that, to me, Necrotic Doom. Legitimately, it was like so all the death metal I like worshipped and like funeral like Doom shit has been kind of molded into this beast that was like, you know, like the demos leading up to Necrotic Doom, like when they had Casey on vocals, I forget what Casey was on besides the 7 inch, but the Blood Incantation split 7 inch. Yeah, that's just on the wall. <laughs> I know somebody just pressed pause and was like, uh, what? Yeah, there's a spectral voice, like, uh, I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna have to say, but, uh, yeah. It's something I probably shouldn't be having hanging on my wall, like, but, Sporagomos, Dark Descent Records, four tracks of just as good as it gets, Death Doom Metal. Like, I don't know what else to say aside from fuck yeah. 
everybody in the spectral voice, not only did you live up to the expectations of eroded corridors of unbeing, I feel they were suppressing like, kind of I don't want to say blown away, but like like just wow. And congratulations. There's not a part of this record where I'm like, come on. No. This is a whole, like, bunch of, like, you better get fucking immersed and really soak this record in to truly enjoy it. Read the lyrics. Like, This, this, like, mournful congregation type part right here is, like, one of the reasons when people are like, oh, I don't know, let's, I'm like, have you ever even listened to that band? Because you're fucking up. Unless you really don't like slow death metal, you're fucking up. I'm sorry, like, I know it's my opinion, but, like, no, for real, you are fucking up. Are just like I don't listen to a death metal pass. I appreciate like, cool. That's sick, but like I can't I can't be that close minded. Like I, I love different types of music. So like yeah, I'm sorry, you know, like I know some people like they they need like just cannibal quirks and like death metal constantly or that shit you know that, 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 like, like that's weak shit no like no like I, just because it's not death metal does not make it weak I mean Cold as Life is honestly like harder than like 90% of death metal bands but Spectral Voice like I said this is death doom metal played at just a level that really you know like starting in the late 80s but I feel like has finally been crafted into again no pun intended with the sculpture but literally sculpted into a record I really like just feel is and I know a lot of people are, are, are going to say there's no such thing as a perfect record I beg to differ here because there's not a part on here where I'm like make a deal without that no banger the entire record Like, we just played it, like, if you know what I just did, then cool, but if you don't, then it's all good. It's, it's nothing, like, special, but... This is the nerdy, nerdy thing sometimes I do. You, you'll find out, though. But... Really nice pro tape, spectral voice, Sparagamos, Dark Descent Records did such a good job here. I'm, I'm trying to, I'm about to turn the light on. Sorry, gonna have to ruin the vibe for you. But I, I gotta, I have like fire down here and shit. There we go, we'll get some smoke from the candle, at least. But, like, really nice pro tape and stuff, like... It sounds so goddamn good on cassette. Like, again, I can't express that enough. For those of you that are like, oh, fuck tape, you're a nerd. Uh, 
okay, I'll take it. If I get to enjoy this the way that I get to enjoy it, then yeah, it sounds great on vinyl, like, but like, I, I just holy shit. Cause like we got some snow, so like I got to go out with my like Walkman, and oh yeah, like it's just been like, it's been like like a rough week too. Like I'm tired, uh, I'm just like I'm like my face hurts, like I'm just I'm just tired, and like, I've been babysitting constantly. And this just has been like my solace, like just like my, as lame as it sounds, my Adam time is listening to Spectral Voice in the Dark. Like, to me, you have to listen to Spectral Voice in the Dark. You have to. I mean, you don't have to, but you should. Now, oh, I forgot about 2018 tour promo. I think it was 2018. Yeah. Stay deaf. But, um, another Spectra Voice cassette that like the LP is great but you need the 7 inch to get all the tracks the tape you get the track from the Anhedonist split and that's out of print that's from what I was told that is never getting repressed so I mean I have the 7 inch and I'm just grateful to have, like, and again, like, one of their best songs, like, as the bonus track on the tape. Because, like, and I have the LP as well, but I did not get the 7-inch one. I just got the, uh, I think it might have just been, like, the American edition? I forget. But, like, I already have... Like, uh, like I said, I, I already have it, but I probably should have, like, now in retrospect, like, because, like, I, I have a first press, too, of, you know, fucking the, the blood incantation split, but, like, seeing them, you know, hey, look, it's Necrot. But, like, seeing them, you know, like, go from playing inside of a record store, I wasn't there, but, like, to where they are right now as one of, like, the biggest, and I don't know if they understand how, like, I mean, they have to, based on the pre-orders, but, like, definitely one of the most popular, and I think that's what makes people just be haters sometimes and you're legitimately fucking up if you think this is just some trend like like to me spectral voice is like part of life and that is death stay deaf like all you true demons you know and on these four tracks by the Spectral Voice on Sporagamos Dark Descent Records. I couldn't have asked for more here. Honestly. And again, like, the fact that this is a goddamn sculpture that was as big as a car when it was together for the photograph. Like, this is a picture. This is not... To my knowledge, the flags were digitalized, and so were, like, the long... Like, I, this was the first time I didn't... Because it, it, it's not my money and stuff. Like, it's the patron's money. So, like, music only. Like, Pat, this, this is Pat's flag. 
It's just down the basement of the studio. I brought it up for the video. I'm going to put it right back downstairs. But I just wanted to show how nice, the, like, this thing is so, it's huge. Like, it's out of frame, but, like, it, it's, dude, like, look, I'll just pull it down a little bit. Like, look at this thing. It's, it's absolutely humongous. It's pretty cool back there, though. But, like, when I heard people complaining, like, why does the cover look grainy? I was like, ugh. <laughs> like, I'm not even going to argue, like, for real. Like, I'm not arguing. Like I said, this was taken with a, a, a camera. Not, like, a digital camera, either. Like, a vintage camera to get this exact look. And it's so gnarly. If you can't appreciate this, I don't know what the hell to tell you. If you're going to hate on that cover and that poster, frig off. But Sparagomos, my spectral voice, just legitimately not being biased, it's incredible. It's everything I expected, kind of, but not really. It was honestly heavier than I expected. Way, way more just atmosphere driven heaviness which is very hard to capture and not be boring and that's another thing that spectral voice have never done to me and that is bore me and again some of you might be like get your head out of their ass like again I would fucking tell you if this was even mediocre. Like, no, just go listen to just the fucking first track, Be Cadaver. It just gets better and better and better and then better. Like, but, yeah. Sparagamos, Spectral Voice. Uh, oh, I know all the Dark Descent colored vinyl is sold out. I know that for a fact. I don't know if they're getting more in, but like, there's tons of variants of this record. I got like the clear with something. I don't know. But like, there's this, like the other one, like, I honestly I probably should have got, but it doesn't matter because the tunes are what matters. But like, yeah. I'm just blown away with what Spectral Voice did here. My only uh, complaint would be, if I remember correctly, my record was shipped in the actual case, which, and was, sh I hate shrink wrap with a passion, but... I, I just, I had to sacrifice. I I didn't have any extra uh, vinyl sleeves. But that was my only cosmetic complaint. But I don't give a fuck. It doesn't matter. It's just so good. And props to Matt and company for getting, like, the job done a little bit early. Like, by the release date. I think they were waiting on, like, shirts and the flags and shit. But... Like I said, again, this is not mine. This is the curse. This is the band's flag, but Pat bought it. It's Pat's flag, technically. And just fuck, man. If you don't like, I mean, if you like Death Doom Metal and you don't like Spectral Voice Baragamos, maybe you should 
just listen to DSI then. I mean, because this is something really, really, you don't hear this every day. I'll put it that way. This is something that comes out every few years, and it's like, whoa, like, what the fuck is that? And that's what this is. Like, the last record that really, really, like, did that for me was Starspawn. Where it was like, whoa, like, holy shit. Like, this is, you know, like, everything I expected from Interdimensional Extinction and more. Because sometimes it's like, I like the demos are, like, just where it's at. Like, you get these, like, sick demos and then the full length kind of falls flat. Nah, nah, nah. Spectral Voice, Eternal. Salem Cult Eternal, but also that Colorado connection with the Spectral Voice is just perfect. Can't send enough love to the Spectral Voice in general. Everyone involved. And again, seriously, if this was remotely mediocre, I'd be like, you know, like I was bummed. I thought it was going to be this, but it was that. This was a complete just, like, I, I was, like, cheesing listening to it the first time. It was great. Like, the series was fucking great. It's one of those, like, yes, like, this is awesome. And I'm just by myself, like, why well, can't I physically headbang anymore? God damn it. But pretty much 10 out of 10. Essential 2024 Death Doom Metal. And I really emphasize the word Doom. Because this shit, when they, you know, go into like those, just like, kind of, they're kind of meditative, like, just, it's, de it's fucking soul crushing. Like, to quote Chris from Autopsy, it crushed me like a worm. And I'm going to leave it at that. Thanks for watching, as always. You fucking rule. Listen to Spectral Voice. Hails. Stay deaf. <laughs>